Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Dynamic Billiard Petric Open here in Bulgaria. It's a winner's qualification match between Austria's Mario He and Bosnia-Herzegovina's Sanjin Belivanovic. It's a race to nine, alternate break. Winner straight into the last 32. The loser has another bite of the cherry later today. So yeah, Mario breaking off in the first rack. Nothing dropping. So Sanyin comes to the table with a shot on the one. This match does have a shot clock. Both players with a 35 second time to execute the shot. After 25 seconds, referee does call time. There's 10 seconds remaining. One extension per rack for each player. It's good position there for Sanyin. It's just looking at the three ball. Take this two to the corner pocket. Use a cue ball to get the three. He really wants to split the eight and nine if possible. Although there is an eight nine combination if he doesn't. Uh, he didn't really get behind the three enough. Doesn't look like there's enough space there to even bank the three because of that nine. Brave man to go for a carom. Oh, he is. He's looking. Possibly just. I'm not sure. Thinning the three, getting the eight to the center. He does. What a great shot. But the reward hasn't materialized. Six ball blocking the path of the three. He's used his extension already, so he hasn't got that much time to think. Sensible shot. Mario having to kick at this three ball. Leaving it open. Looks like he's going to be digging deep into this cue ball on the three to keep it down this end of the table for the four. It's a good shot. Only got the six, seven, and nine with the nine ball sitting on the rail. Really would want to be above that nine ball. He's got the position now on the seven to do so. That end of the table for the cue ball. It's always risky if you end up with the cue ball down this end, playing the nine past the center pocket. Always element of risk I'm just hitting the knuckle Sunyin's got that perfect <laughs> the 
Sanyin, 1 0. Stealing the rack off. Young Bosnian breaking off in rack 2. balls off of that break can see the red three which is his next object ball not sure if it goes past the seven to the corner it's a very tight angle if he wants to cut the three to the center he's got the cushion that the seven ball would block the path of the cue ball to the corner if he does take that on but he's looking for the corner pocket so obviously does go past the seven. Nicely done. Perfectly on to that four ball. Just pointing to whereabouts he wants a cue ball after this six. To be nicely on that seven. Eight and nine sitting next to each other. Not a lot to do there. Very nice start from Sanyin. Steals a rack off of Mario's break. Breaks and runs his own rack with this nine ball falling. And it does. Breaking off in rack number three. This time Mario making a ball off the break and the three-point rule, so he continues at the table. The one squeezes past the five to the center. Four and nine are a little bit of a problem. Of course, the three ball nestled up behind the six. A little bit of work here for the Austrian. Didn't like that. It just bumped into the three. It hasn't really made it any better. There's a choice. Can take the two. Get the cue ball back behind the six. So you can take the three to the corner. Solve that puzzle, but he's got another one coming up with a four behind the nine. It's not going to be as easy to solve due to the position he's in at the moment. I think a little safety here.
perfectly executed. Let's see what magic Sanyin can produce. Making contact, leaves Mario open view. Mario just working out where the contact on that orange five will be after potting the four. Doesn't want to tie it up with a six. Spinning the cue ball round there for position to the seven. That nine ball. Result for the Bulgarians. Still got Georgiev Ludmil also still hanging on in there. So some good results here for the local host. Sanyin making a tremendous break. Three balls off the break. The sixth ball is just hanging in the corner pocket. He's got a shot on the two. Two, four, five, all up the top end. Six hanging in the corner pocket, eight and nine in the middle. Just needs to avoid contact with a four when playing this two ball. He should be in a great position to keep his two rack lead. to contact straight on the four doesn't need anything else kill the cue ball dead is on the five six in the pocket this is looking good for the young Bosnian Eight and nine for a three-one lead. 
race to nine. break it was the one so straight there on to the two it's got the angle to the center but I'm not sure if it's worth going for it I think a good safety here would be a good one Only because the angle is going to keep the cue ball down the center of the table so if he does go for it he's got a Avoid contact with that brown seven because the three ball is up there towards a head spot. Looks like it's going to take this on. It was a risky shot. I thought he would have gone for a safety. Had the opportunity. Just keeping the cue ball behind the nine. He chose the aggressive mode. I think it was the prospect of crashing into that brown seven really put the spanner in the works there. to draw the cue ball back over for the four. Got to be careful not scratching in the centre. He was very careful. Good that it just carried past the eight. Otherwise that would have been a very awkward cue in action. Nice draw with right English. That's a good position for that six. Playing with a lot of confidence, seven, eight, and nine to get a four one lead. Sanyin Pelivanovic, the young Bosnian, 4-1 up. Fast and furious, Sanyin Pelivanovic breaking off in rack 6 with a 4-1 lead. Uh, 
played a couple of balls off the break, but he's snookered behind that eight. The two ball is the next object ball. Perfect view in line of the two there, so he didn't have to get out the chair. Just gave it straight back to Sunyin. He's got his jump stick out, he's going airborne. Makes the jump shot as he got fortunate. I think there's a gap for Mario. I think he can squeeze cue ball between the five and nine. The only saving grace for Sunyin is uh, there's a bit of distance between the cue ball and two. Well, he obviously, couldn't see it. Wow, looked like he had the view. Angles deceiving for the commentary box. Sunny Pelovanovic. Ball in hand and a real chance to tighten the screws on the Austrian here and get a 5 1 lead. Sanyin wanted to get behind that five. Take it to the centre pocket. But bumping into it. From what was a relatively straightforward run out. Turned into a bit of a nightmare. He's even eyeing up the five nine combination. doing so he wants to get the cue ball back up table a little bit safety in mind as well he's going for the nine and he gets it Sonny Belivanovic 5-1 now and look at that cue ball just wow Mario making a couple of balls off the break, and it looks like he hasn't got a clear shot on the three. He's got enough maybe to bank it. Does that. Tough one on the four now. That's better shooting from the Austrian. his way around this table maybe change of game plan Have nothing else to lose let's just get on with it is his method now Good break and run. Mario here. Seven o'clock and the quarterfinals at nine o'clock, all local time here in Bulgaria. 
it's an hour ahead of Central European time. Well, four ball just squeezing into the kitchen. Fulfilling the three-point rule, two balls down. I think the six ball was a little bit shy of the kitchen line. Four ball, of course, inside the kitchen. Got to avoid contact with a five or the seven because he's going for the three ball after this. to do so and nicely on to the three now a little draw back just to stay the good side of that six and he's on to the four ball with a good angle to get down to the five he's worked out the route just got to execute it now Four balls. Give Sunyin a four rack lead. He's got a slight angle on this six. Not as straight as it looks. Got it, he has, has enough. Two rails back up behind the nine ball. Roughly to where the cue ball is now. Sanim Belivanovic now with a 6 2 lead over Mario He. Is a race tonight. Sanyin. Again, the difference in the breaks of these two players. Mario making a ball off the break. Got a chance to bank the one or player safety. Always oh, got lucky. But he needs a bit of luck. I think the two ball bank as well here. Just kill the cue ball dead there. He's on the three. And he does. A couple of banks in a row there from the Austrian. First one a little bit fortunate. Second one executed perfectly. Oh, 
what a mess. A real bad miss there from Mario He. He hasn't really been at the races here in this match. His break hasn't worked for him, and he's made a couple of mistakes like that. Sung in is in no mood for forgiveness. Just asking the referee to clean the cue ball. Felt there was a little kick. Extension called and extension used. We got a lot on that. Possibly the additional weight on the queue. Just took him out of his rhythm. Batches of that six ball. Playing with a lot of confidence, Sanin Pelevanovic, 7-2 in front. Another good break from Sanin, and he's got a shot on the two. That eight ball, politely, just moving out the way. It's looking very ominous for Mario He. Trailing 7-2, and the opponent breaks and makes three balls, and has a shot. And just showing how he would like the cue ball. He's just going to let this roll forward and through the gap of the six and nine. 
be able to take the four to the centre. Resigned himself. Having to put another shift in after this one. Still not over. But Mario's expression was telling us something different. Two balls for Sanim Pelivanovic to get on the hill. And he does. Uh, walking away. Handing the game to Sunyan, surprisingly. Didn't make a ball off of the break. I thought, well, that's enough for me. I'll prepare for the next round. Strange ending to the match, but uh, can be expected. He hasn't got the frame of mind for a fight back so hope you enjoyed that sort of short match and uh, make sure you come back again later and watch another one with us if you can't wait till then flip over to kazoom.com and you'll be able to see all the other matches there thanks for being with us and see you all a bit later